Hello everyone and welcome to our reading, vocabulary and pronunciation lesson. In this lesson, we're going to read a story together and then look at some important words and English structures. Let's get started. Today's story is I am a waiter. My name is Jane Taylor. I am 29 years old. I work at a Spanish restaurant. Its name is El Toro. El Toro is the best Spanish restaurant in New York City. This is my third year in this restaurant as a waiter. I go to the restaurant every morning at 6 o'clock. I open the restaurant and set the tables. The other waiters arrive at 7 o'clock. They tidy the kitchen. The first customers come in at about 8 o'clock. I take a break at 10 o'clock. I drink a cup of coffee and eat a cookie. I go back to work 15 minutes later. We have kind customers. Some foreign customers do not know English. This can be hard sometimes. I have a lunch break at 12 o'clock. Workers have a special menu. The food is really good. After 30 minutes, I go back to work again. I finish work at 2 o'clock. I do not work on Sundays. But I work two hours more on Saturdays. Saturdays are the most crowded days at the restaurant. The price is not bad, but the tips are really good. I get tired sometimes, but I still love my job and my workmates. Now that we've read our story, I am a waiter, about Jane Taylor, let's have a look at some words to remember. Spanish restaurant. A restaurant is a place where people pay money to sit and eat meals. In a Spanish restaurant, the meals are from Spanish culture. Waiter. A waiter is a person who brings people their food at the restaurant. A waiter can also be called a server. Set the table. This is a verb. It means preparing the table with the things that are needed for a meal, like forks, spoons, and napkins. Tidy. Tidy is a verb and it means to arrange or clean something. So, if the other waiters tidy the kitchen, it means they arrange or clean the kitchen. Tips. Tips are money we give to waiters as a reward for good service. It's a way to say thank you for a good job. We have finished our words to remember. Now let's look at our structures to remember. I go to the restaurant every morning at 6 o'clock. This is a simple present tense sentence. I do not add S or ING endings to my verb go. Every morning shows that this is my routine. I drink a cup of coffee. 
A is an article. A is the same as one. In this sentence, a is showing us that Jane drinks one cup of coffee. Some foreign customers do not know English. Foreign customers is plural. Therefore, I do not add an S ending to my verb do. I do not work on Sundays. Remember, we can shorten do not and make it don't. So, my sentence can also be, I don't work on Sundays. We have completed our reading about Jane Taylor, I am a waiter. See you in the next lesson.